Well, if you were enjoying a New Year's party last night, hopefully it wasn't outdoors because it was cold last night. Still cold today. You're not waking up to any warmer weather here the next couple of mornings around here. So we have freeze warning effect tonight and we're not out of it after this. We have a potential to see some freezing spots tonight. I think tomorrow night may be a better chance to see more widespread temperatures that could dip below freezing. So kind of watch Tuesday night. There's a freeze watching effect right now in the overnight hours on Tuesday, even late. Wednesday night into Thursday morning. There might be a couple spots that briefly touch freezing. We'll have to wait and see on that, but warmer weather finally returns by next weekend. We should see highs back in the 70s in some areas, especially by Saturday and Sunday. Freeze warning though across all the map there you see uh, across South Texas. This goes tonight until 10 a.m. Tuesday and you know the tricky part with this is we still have a lot of clouds around and moisture on the ground and a uh, light north breeze blowing so that may kind of limit the cool down overnight so we may not see widespread freezing conditions but some of those normally colder spots especially star county northern Hidalgo county may be dipping down there to around 30 or 31 or so in a few spots especially so temperatures right now are, are at 34 in rio grande city 39 though in brownsville and 36 in raymondville everyone in the 30s and throughout this evening we're not going to see a huge drop it's just going to be cloudy you might still see a little bit of drizzle or sprinkles, even a small chance to see a few sleet pellets out there early this evening as the atmosphere is getting cold and there's still a bit of drizzle around. So you might see a few little little ice pellets around as temperatures hover in the mid 30s later this evening. Now overnight, we're looking for mainly dry and cold weather. We see lows expected to maybe dip below freezing, but mainly the farther west you are, I think 31 in Rio Grande City. We put it near just above freezing over most other areas, about 33 in Wesleco. 34 in Harlingen, so it may not be widespread freezing conditions, but it will feel colder too. We have a wind chill advisory that continues through 10 a.m. Tuesday. There's not a lot of wind, but when temperatures are, you know, 36 degrees, it doesn't take much wind to get those wind chills feeling like it's in the 20s. So if you step outside right now, it basically feels like it's in the 20s if you're stuck in some of those breezes blowing in from the north. So a cold day all around. And uh, again, the wind chill, what it is right now, it feels like it's in the 20s. The wind chill is currently 28 in Wesleco and 29 in Brownsville. Again, that's a feels like temperature. That's what it feels like on your exposed skin when that wind is uh, taking the heat away from your body. Future track does show mainly dry weather tonight. You see clouds will mostly stay intact and that will probably keep it near or just above freezing in many areas, but uh, a night close enough to freezing, we have to be concerned. So tomorrow it starts off cold in the morning. Clouds will probably be around all day again tomorrow. Even shows maybe some sprinkles offshore in the Gulf, but I think tomorrow's a cold day when it only gets maybe into the low 40s. And then here's the key to tomorrow night. This is why we have to worry about freezing temperatures late tomorrow night. You notice how the clouds are breaking up forecast to kind of get pushed out tomorrow night, depending on when they move out and how quickly they move out could determine if we do get down below freezing. But I think tomorrow night is the greatest potential to see some colder temperatures that may dip as cold as you know, we're talking maybe upper 20s in some of the colder areas potentially. So you notice the, the line right there. This is future track shows before sunrise on Wednesday, kind of the clearing line about right there moving through the valley from west to east. So uh, I, I think the farther west you are again tomorrow could be tomorrow night could be the uh, some of the coldest temperatures as well. Wednesday, though, sunshine comes back and we'll probably get back at least into about the low 50s or so. Not a warm day, but then Wednesday night is still clear and that's why we have the potential to maybe touch freezing for a little bit in some areas with clear skies, light winds and some cold temperatures around Thursday morning. But after Thursday morning, the warmer weather does make a comeback. So the first 1570 forecast cold again tomorrow. Highs only near 41. You see low temperatures starting close to freezing tomorrow. And I still think Wednesday might be the coldest morning potentially. Put a low of 29 there right now if skies clear out early enough in the night. But sunshine around most of Wednesday and Thursday it gets a little warmer Thursday afternoon, but the morning hours may still briefly dip below freezing in spots. And then after that, the warmer weather finally comes back. We should be at least in the 70s by the weekend. Some of the models hit it maybe near 80 by either Sunday or Monday with uh, small chances for some more uh, clouds or sprinkles or light rain shower Friday and Saturday. So we'll keep tracking those cold days ahead in your first four and five forecast. Carrie.